guys, my name is Nicole, and today I want to show you how to make brainy text inside of Adobe Illustrator. Here, let me show you exactly how it works. I've set up a document that's 800 pixels wide by 1,000 pixels tall. It's got three layers on it. The first is a background layer with a light blue rectangle that covers the whole space, and this guy's locked because we won't work with it until the very end. The second layer is where I'm going to put my brain text, and I'm going to call it Brainstorm. And that final layer at the top is where I'm going to put the text that's going to wrap around the top of the brain, and I'm going to call it Let's Have A. Let's start working by creating our brain base. This is basically going to be our guide for building all the other elements. I'll grab my ellipse tool by clicking and holding on my rectangle button over here on the left toolbar, and that's going to drop down a menu with the ellipse button on it. So let's go ahead and select that. Next, I'm going to click on the document to bring up my ellipse menu and make an ellipse that's 700 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. I'm going to OK that, and now I'm dragging that to the center of my artboard. And then, if you look closely, you can see that this ellipse has four anchor points. I want to select the top and the bottom ones, so I'll switch to my direct selection tool by hitting A on my keyboard and then click and drag over the middle area here. Then I'm going to click on one of those points to drag them both a little bit to the left. Now we've got our brainy shape. I'm going to fill it with a darker pink color for my swatches. And then I'll make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl C or Command C on a Mac and then click on my top layer and paste it with Ctrl F or Command F on the Mac and that's pasting it to the front. Now let's make our text. We'll make it off to the side here so that we have a clean workspace. I'll crank up the text size to around 250 just so that we can see what the heck we're doing. And while we're still in the top layer here, we'll make a piece of text that says, let's have a. The second piece of text here is what we're going to brainify. So let's go back down to the brain layer and we're going to type brain and then we're going to hit return and then we'll type storm. Let's edit both of these text strings by clicking and dragging over both of them. We're going to draw them in the impact font. That's a pretty common one so odds are you already have it installed and if you don't go ahead and download it. When I start typing impact into the font selector, Illustrator should find the font for me automatically, and then I'll hit return to accept it. I want to make all of this text in uppercase letters though, and the way that I do that is by opening up my type panels with Control T or Command T on a Mac, and I'm going to click on this tiny little button on the right side here, and that gives me the all caps option. So the next text changes I want to make here are specific. I'm going to select my let's have a text and I'm going to change the color of it so it's this pretty sky blue color. Next I'm going to drop the font size down to 125 pixels and then I'm going to ignore this layer for a little bit so I'm going to lock it and then I'm going to turn off this little eye next to it to make it invisible. I'm going to click on my brain text to select that layer and then I'm going to highlight brain and change the font size to 275 so that the width of the two words are about even. And I'm also going to go up to my character's toolbar on the top and I'm going to center align the text. Now these words are a little too far apart for my taste and I want them to get real cozy. So I'm going to go back to my characters panel and set the leading to 230 which is essentially just going to change the margin between them and it's right down here in this section. I'll color the text a lighter pink color and now we're ready to add some effects to the text. So we want this text to look organic and fleshy and the first step towards getting that look is to round off the corners of this type by going to effect and then stylize and then round corners. If we turn on the preview here, we see that it pretty much does it automatically, but we're going to get greedy and crank up the radius to 25 pixels and then click OK. 
Next we're going to roughen up the sides of the text. So to do that we go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then select Roughen. This one we're going to have to do a little more work on because if we turn on the preview we can see that the default settings give us something really frightening. Let's bring the size down to 2%, set the detail to 5, and then we want it to look natural so we'll change the points to smooth. Our text is looking pretty brainy. We want to wrap it around the brain base, so we're going to bring it to the front by using the keyboard shortcut Control or Command, Shift, and then right bracket. And then we're going to click and drag over them both and go to the Object menu, Envelope Distort, and then Make with Top Object. Our text has a brain shape, but it kind of looks like the brains are falling apart and we really want them to stick together. Let's add a stroke to them by going to our Appearance panel. We're going to force Illustrator to stroke the object by clicking on this little button on the far left of the panel. We'll change the stroke to the same dark pink that we used for the brain base, and then pump up the size to 60 points. And holy cow, that stroke is out of control. We're going to push it to the back by clicking and dragging its line below the content line. And now we can see our text again. Let's make our brain pop out a little bit. We'll go to Effect, Stylize, Inner Glow. You want to set the mode to Color Burn, which is a mode that's essentially going to take the value of the color that we select and translate it into some really rich color around the side of our brain. We'll choose a medium to light gray color. Now, turn on Preview and we can pump up the blur to around 110 or 120 pixels, whatever looks good to you. Now our brain is looking a lot more dynamic. Now let's make the text that wraps around the top of our brain. We'll go back to our top layer, select our text, and copy it. We want our guide to overshoot our brain by a little bit, so we'll scale up that brain base by going to Object, and then Scale, and do a uniform scale of 115%, and hit OK. We'll click on our text tool, and then hold down Alt, and hover over the path to tell Illustrator that we want to draw text on the path. Click and then use Control V or Command V on a Mac to paste our text and then let's click on our selection tool, find our little green line and click and drag it around the path in order to place the text on top of our brain. Sometimes this part takes a while so don't get frustrated, just keep on chugging. The last detail that I want to add here are some dynamic brain wave lines in the background. I'm going to select the bottom layer and then zoom out so that I can see what's going on. Next, I'm selecting the line segment tool from my left side toolbar. I'm going to click on the bottom here and drag up, hold down on the tilde key and drag pretty quickly across the screen. This might take a couple tries, but once I'm happy with the arrangement of my lines, I'm going to change the stroke to a light blue color pump up the size to 60, and then make the stroke shape triangular. Then I'll go through and get rid of the lines that I don't need. So these ones didn't make the cut. To make those lines look like brain waves, I'm going to pull out my roughen tool again. I'll go back up to my effect menu, go to distort and transform, and then select roughen. This time, we want the size to be around 5%, detail at 3 segments per inch, and those points to be corners. And now we're all done! That, guys, is how you make brainy text here inside Adobe Illustrator.